Alright guys, so the first tattoo you guys are seeing right now is the most meaningful tattoo for me because it's my first one and I got it when I was like at least 19 or 20. I don't remember well, but I think it's 19 or 20 years old around there. But it was really meaningful for me because I went through a hard time and I wanted something on my body that represents like I like I grew out of something that I know I, I could accomplish later on in my future life and I, I can move forward to it. I really went through depression to the point where I kept cutting myself to the point where I went to therapy to the point where I literally have a hot a suicide hotline, which I don't want no one to feel bad for me because like Whatever happened in the past is in the past, and I want to keep moving forward, and I just want to stay like that. Okay, my second tattoo, it's right here, my moon, my moon, my fault. Um, it represents, it represents somebody, which I know this person doesn't want to be named in anything or have any contact with me um lost our friendship uh, yeah i never told this person about this tattoo at all because like i told a few friends a close friend of mine um my fiance as well but i never told this person about the tattoo because like i know if i told him about it he thinks that i will be crazy like I was that crazy for that person like it really was but if you are watching this video I'm sorry but it was a really dumb decision that I made but it's something that I couldn't help myself of getting of what happened that night and for my YouTube followers a uh, subscribers I meant um, this moon represents that I fell in love with a guy during my high school my last high school year we f I fell in love with him after I broke up with my fiance during the time. So I went out with this guy for six months. Things ended up badly because I kept going back and forth with my fiance and my ex at the same time during this whole time, and which no one should have deserved going through this pain and we fell in love on that one time meaning that we were in a soccer field by ourselves all of our friends have left we were all playing soccer but everybody had left it was like around eight at night i can believe eight at night and i had school the next day instead of going home i decided to stay with him because it was not that cold it was pretty nice at that time. It was night time. And we were sitting at the soccer field and I was looking up at the sky. <sighs> God damn, it's so flashback. But we look at the sky. We saw stars. We saw the moon. And that's the whole thing. We fell in love with each other. But towards the end of the relationship, we were so toxic. By toxic, I mean we were like, I was bad to him. Not that bad, but we would argue, we would break up, go back together, break up, go to back together. It was too much. It was stressful for the both of us. And he left me for a good reason. It's not his fault, it's my fault for like playing around with someone's feelings that shouldn't be played with. And it's really messed up. And then now I realize after two years, it's been really messed up for me to do that to that type of person, knowing that I lost and like not completely lost or anything like that, but like losing a friendship that could have been great right now. But it was like a great friendship and a good relationship. But at the same time, it was too toxic for me. It was too toxic for him. And plus he was younger than me he was just a sophomore in high school and i was just a senior in high school and i was gonna graduate 
I was graduating. And I had a lot of stuff on my mind. I had um, college. I had soccer. But then towards the end of the year, I never went to college. I never, I applied, but never went. Instead of that, I decided to follow along with this guy. And it was toxic. And now I'm thinking about it. Like, at the same time I regret it, at the same time I don't. But yeah. That's what this one means. So if you're watching this video, I hope you can understand. And, and I hope you can understand why I've never told you about my tattoos. But then again, you never want to have contact with me. I bet now after this, you won't have contact with me. I think you'll block me from all types of social media. Which is okay, because I understand. Because like, there's more stuff I have to go through. Like, my third tattoo. Ah, oh, my third tattoo. Oh, let me fix this camera angle. Okay. My third tattoo. Wow. <laughs> Believe it or not, I got this from a YouTuber from the Team 10, Chat Temper. I actually got his tattoo, like, from his... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That, I got it because of him. But at the same time, I got it because, like, I actually do believe in aliens and stuff. But <laughs> it's funny because I, I actually got it. But I got it when I was trying to go to the artist high and really drunk that day. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I, I, <laughs> it wasn't, that wasn't the painful a tattoo I ever got him. The, the, yeah, I, I mean, it, it only means I, I actually believe in aliens and I don't want them to come to me. So, aliens, please do not come to me. So, yeah. Anyways, so my fourth tattoo, my four, four, yes, four. I have four tattoos. Not completely, but I'm missing one more. Uh, my four tattoo, um, it's the one where you see the don't come for me which is the this one this is my fourth tattoo and that one is messed up including with my moon tattoo it's all messed up this one because the artist didn't have the right the right needle and this one because like the artist literally stretched out my skin like had to hold me down stretch out my skin and i was bleeding so much on the table that was like the most painful and grossest tattoo i ever got in in my whole body like it was so painful it was so bloody i could like that day my friend went with me because that's one of my friend's homies that done the tattoo for me and it's so painful to the point where like I want to quit halfway but I'm like nah we're halfway there let just let me just get this done but the reason why I got this one because I actually watched DC Universe when I was a kid believe it or not the DC comics we are talking about Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, Aquaman, Superman, Batman. It's crazy. I watched all of that when I was a kid. And to this day, I'm still a DC person. And don't get me wrong, I still love, I, I kind of love the Marvel. But I grew up with DC and also X-Men, which will probably be my next tattoo. Not sure when, but hope you guys can stick around. For that tattoo, um, my last tattoo, <laughs> my last tattoo, that's the most precious and, mem like, memorable tattoo I could ever gotten from the person that I love. We went to this artist in New York, and, like, I want to cry right now, because, like, it's so, like, it means so much to me, like, I got him with the person that I love the most that is still by my side to this day. We know each other since we were like little kids. We never went to school together until element until middle school. Um oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> He's like the only guy who's pinned there by my side. And like 
like me he got the sun and I also caught in another moon and like right now I'm tearing cause like it's the most memorable tattoo that we both gotten and because it means a lot to us. We know each other since we're, kid, we we're kids. And now we're going to get married. It's the love of my life. Like, it's it's really touchy. <laughs> yes, we might, like, argue. We might have our ups and downs. But then again, he's there to support me. And, like, he's always there for me. And supporting me of doing YouTubing. And also to, like, more upcoming things that he's always gonna that i know he's gonna be there for me and always gonna be there for me for the rest of my life and like it's touching because like he's the first person i ever gotten a tattoo with like kind of like a matching tattoo except i got the moon and he got the sun <sighs> oh god dude it's it's really touching because like we went together and i supported him that's his first tattoo so I went there to support him. And he got it around here. Around the most painful part of the body. Well, not painful, but the only part that hurts the most because it's more me. And I got it down here because, like, it's not that painful. But then again, it was really, like, you're there, lay down, you out. Like, nothing, really quickly. So it wasn't that painful for me. So it was painful for so I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want to hear me talking about more of my tattoos, of my upcoming tattoos, be sure you guys hit that subscribe button, comment down below, and like this. And come on, guys. Can we at least get 100 subscribers? At least. I'm not asking much. Just 100 subscribers. And comment down below what you guys think we should do. We, me and my fiance should do next if you guys want to see him in a makeup video. Or... If you guys want to see us go to Clinton Road again next month, hopefully, you could go to Clinton Road and see what else is there we, we have to film. Till then, next time, guys. Bye.